thy cause a moment to indulge an old man. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome back to my Let's Play of Baldur's Gate. This is episode 5 and we are in the Friendly Arms Inn. Let's take a look at our quest log here. Important events. Safe at last at the Friendly Arm Inn. My next step should be to find and introduce myself to Khaled and Jahira, friends of Gorion. They can give me some advice as to what to do next. And we have XR and... Monteron here. Monteron and Exar wish to travel to Nashkel. I still do not know where Nashkel is. So, our journey, our quest right now is to find our two friends. And we are extremely wounded here, these three. I think we should maybe right. have some rest here first. Commoner. Please. Commoner. Who's this? Nessie here, a named character. The whelp. Commoner. Commoner. What do we have here? Suri, another person. Commoner and commoner. Now, is there a bartender around here? I would like to. There we go. I would like to uh, probably rest first here. We are pretty hurt. What we have here here's Khaled right there so we uh, we better actually let's go introduce ourselves and this is probably Jahira yes let's talk to these two here okay. calm yourself dear we must proceed c c carefully something about you is f f familiar child your manner reminds me of a sage I know but by the name of Gorion it is almost a slight on him, but I see it too. Jahira, mind your manners. This must be the child that Gorion wrote of so often. We are old friends of your adopted father. He is not with you, I must assume the worst. He would not permit his only child to wander without his accompaniment. If, if he has passed, we share your loss. Gorion often said he worried for your safety, even at the expense of his own. He also wished that Khaled and I would become your guardians if he should ever meet an untimely end. However, you are much older now. The choice of your companions should be your own. We could travel with you until you get settled, help you find a lot in life. And we have a journal entry, The Friendly Arm Inn. It would be a fitting last service to Gorion, though we should first go to Nashkel. Khalid and I look into local concerns, and there are rumors of strange things happening at the mines. No doubt you have heard of the iron shortage. You would do well to help us. It affects everyone, including you. We are to meet the mayor of the town, Baron Gashkel. I am currently going to Nashkel. My current companions wish to visit there as well. Indeed. Interesting. In that case, I think we should definitely travel as one. You can never be too careful about the dangers of the open road, wherever they may spring from. Alright, we've got 6 gold, 11 gold. And we've got a new quest here. I also want to take a look, before we have a nap here, we gained some stuff here we gain some leather armor leather armor despite the popular misconception is not soft and supple like the leather used to make a ranger's boots or a druid's robe that kind of leather offers no better protection than common clothing all right so we've got some leather we did get a message though here i think orion scroll we've read we have this letter let's read this this is a bounty notice be it known to all those of evil intent that a bounty has been placed upon the head of Sin Mantis, the foster child of Gorion. Last seen in the area of Candlekeep, this person is to be killed in quick order. Those returning with proof of the deed shall receive no less than 200 coins of gold. As always, any that reveal these plans to the forces of law shall join the target in their fate. 
Let's copy this note. Note copied. Great. What else did we get here? We've got a long sword, a couple daggers, some short swords. We also have a morning star here. The morning star is a wooden shaft topped with a metal head covered by a spiked iron sheath. Morning stars have an overall length of about four feet. Some have a round, oval, or spherical shaped head studded with spikes. Extending from most morning star heads, regardless of design, is a long point for thrusting. All right, so I think we've got, we're gonna sell some of this stuff here and we've got some scrolls here. Let's give these scrolls to the crazy guy here, Exar. Let's see, does he have anything? Nope. He's got all of these. We have the spell armor. By means of this spell, the wizard creates a magical field of force that serves as if it were scale mail armor, armor class 6. It is cumulative with dexterity and, in the case of fighter mages, with the shield bonus. The armor spell does not hinder movement, adds no weight or encumbrance, and does not prevent spell casting. It lasts until successfully dispelled or until the duration runs out. Let's write this magic. I have failed to write it in the book. I see. Let's try... Um, are all of these the same? Let's try Magic Missile here. Magic Missile is a level 1 spell. Use of the Magic Missile spell, one of the most popular first level spells, creates up to 5 missiles of magical energy that dart forth from the wizard's fingertips and unerringly strike their target which must be a creature of some sort. Each missile inflicts 1d4 plus 1 points of damage. For every two extra levels of experience, the wizard gains an additional missile. She has two at third level, three at fifth level, and four at the seventh level, up to a total of five at ninth level. Let's write the magic on this one. We have failed in that as well. Let's look at burning hands here. Burning Hands is another level 1 spell. When the wizard casts a spell, a jet of searing flame shoots from her fingertips. The wizard's hands must be held as to send forth a fan-like sheet of flames. Her thumbs must touch each other and her fingers must be spread. The Burning Hands send out flame jets 5 feet in length in a horizontal arc of about 120 degrees in, the, in front of the wizard. Any creature in this area of flames suffers 1d3 points of damage plus two points for each level of the caster to a maximum of 1d3 plus 20 points of fire damage those successfully saving versus spells receive half damage let's try to write this spell we have failed in that as well i wonder if we just know these ones already we have another level one spell here a chill touch when a caster completes this spell, a blue glow encompasses her hands. The energy attacks the life force of any creature upon which the wizard makes a successful melee attack. Non-living creatures such as golems and undead are unaffected by this spell. The creature is punched for 1d2 fist damage, strength bonuses apply, and must make a saving throw versus spell or suffer 1d8 points of damage and receive a minus 2 thackle penalty for 5 rounds. Interesting. Let's see. Can we write this spell? We've already learned this spell. Okay, so this is... I'm doing this right then. We're just unlucky. Larlock's Minor Drain is another level 1 spell. With this spell, the wizard drains the life force from a target and adds it to her own. The target suffers 4 damage while the mage gains 4 hit points. If the mage goes over her maximum hit point total with this spell, she loses an extra hit point after one turn. All right, so now we know what he is capable of here. Let's just keep going down and making sure we have everything covered. These are healing potions. We know about those. What are these? Invisibility. We know about that. We have a short bow. What is this here? Oil of speed. This oil increases the movement and combat capabilities of the embitter. 
the movement rate is doubled and the user gains one extra attack per round. Thus, a movement rate of 9 becomes 18, and a character normally able to attack once in a round attacks twice. This does not reduce the casting time, however. The duration of the effect is one hour. We're going to say done on that. We're not going to do that. And she's got a wand here. A wand of magic missiles. Now, we know about the magic missiles already. We just read that. Perfect. Now, I think we have given everybody the information that we need. And we have a bounty notice, which we have already read. I think it's time to get some sleep. Let's talk to Bentley Mirror Shade here, the the owner of this place. It's been dreadful slow business lately. None too many travelers have been through lately. What with the supposed troubles down south, what can I do you for? What do you have to sell me? So we have all of the stuff here that we can rent, which we're going to do. But I want to see what he's got for sale here. I am looking to see if there is any sort of camping supplies. History of the fateful coin and history of the unicorn rum. I wonder. We have 313. And nothing really here. We're not going to buy anything there. We're going to ask for a... How much is this? five gold pieces or eight gold pieces three and one let's go for a merchant here for three a favorite of the frugal business traveler rooms of this type are basic but comfortable a good solid mattress and clean linen for when one must awaken presentable but not so pampered as to promote oversleeping this sounds perfect for us let's rent this Now, we still have some injured parties here. Let's take a look. We have, yeah, Inuwin here is still injured. Do you? My inn is open to all who behave themselves. All right, let's go. What do you, can you sell me here? Do you have any sort of healing potions or anything like that? Is there any healing potions at all? No, there's just books here. I don't want to buy the books. We are kind of broke, I think. We're going to go like that, I think. I might buy some, actually, some better armor for myself. Let's get the splint mail. We're going to sell the short swords here. We're going to buy... We're gonna buy this and we're gonna sell the short sword. We're gonna sell a dagger. Another one of these. A long sword. Let's sell the leather here. No, we'll hold on to the leather. Done. Let's put this on. We're going to keep these letters, I think, for now. I'm going to see if we can get get rid of these. Ground. We're going to put that on the ground. We're going to put this on the ground since nobody wants them. He's got studded leather. Let's give her some studded leather. What has he got? He's got nothing. Let's give... She's got leather and he's got splint. We're going to move him up here. No, we can't do it while we're in this uh, mode, I guess. Let's give... Yeah, we, he can't wear it. So we're going to sell this as well. Yeah. Let's sell the rest of this stuff. It's been dreadful slow business lately. Now, let's sell the this and this as well. 
There is no healing potions whatsoever. I don't like that. We're going to go up here. Inowen and this guy. What is she? She is a fighter and a druid. We're going to move her up as well. There we go. I wouldn't mind trying to heal, heal her. Let's go and find out what else we have here. Commoner, commoner. There was a few named people in here. Commoner. Let's talk to the whelp. I need some ale. I need some ale. Ah, look at these forks and tankards. This iron shortage shows no mercy on us drunkards and gourmands. What could be wrong with your fork and tankard? They may be made with iron, yet they bend under the weight of this inn's meager offerings, and the handle breaks of me tankard and spills this rat spit of an ale into my lap. Arr, Nessie. Get me another. Interesting. This iron curse may be more than just a shortage baby here that they have problems with the iron itself. There's Dorn. There was another named character up here, I think, wasn't there? We can go explore the kitchen maybe as well. I bet you the person walking around is Nessie here, the barmaid. No, oh, that's a commoner. Let's talk to Dorn here. It's got a pretty impressive sword. Mm, it's about time. Bring me another flagon of ale. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Then why do you bother me? Be gone. Nothing would please me more. And we have a new quest here from this guy. I wonder what this is all about. Let's take a look here. I've arrived safely at the friendly arm inn. Here I contact Kaled and Jahira. So what is this other thing? As I have little else to do and few allies, I should devote some time to the investigating the cause of the iron shortage in the region. My next stop should be the town of Nashkel to the south. All right, that sounds like a good idea. These guys want to go to Nashkel. So everyone wants to go to Nashkel. How rude. A brooding half orc at the friendly arm inn mistook me for a servant. I have half the mind to tell him where to stick his jutting teeth, but decided against it. He looks like the sort who'd be handy in a fight. Perhaps we will meet again under more favorable circumstances. Much this sounds pretty good. Moments of repose. Get a move on it. I need some ale. Yeah, maybe we will. We will leave the commoners for now. Ale. But let's select the entire party. And let's go back here and take a look. We have the cook here. We'll leave the cook alone. Cooks are probably pretty busy. And a commoner back here. Commoner and a commoner. Very cool. Okay, so we have to go south. Let's get out of here. And I am going to quick save it real And we're gonna go ex explore south. Let's take the map to the world map and south. This is perfect because we have to finish exploring this area. So let's move on down there. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, that's right. Keep trying to do other games hotkeys here. Let's go down and explore this area. Again, we're not going to steal off anybody here. We're playing good characters. Well, we can adjust the positioning perfect i wonder if there's anything worth exploring just outside the keep here let's try exploring a little bit outside of this this area here there is a roadway here i wonder where this leads or if we can get a pic better picture of the inn maybe
I like when we have somebody here. We have a hobgoblin here. Let's get ready to attack him and try this out now. Forward, march. Let's do that. Eowyn's weapon is unusable. Does she, is she out of arrows, perchance? Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. Yes, we're going to have to go. Luckily, we're trying this out before we go. We have to go and get her some better... Anything we can loot? Yes, Fine there and is. Dandy. Oh, check this out. We have some leather armor, a helmet, some gold, and a bastard sword. Need me? Let's Not check a over problem. here. We have the same kind of stuff here. Perfect. Hmm? Right. Let's quick save it here, real quick. Now, I am definitely not doing this a great way. What you want? Let's go get her. Let's we'll go get her some bet. new. Uh, let's go see if we can buy some arrows off the innkeep and get that taken care of. Very cool stuff. I really like games like this. I'm having a great time. It's been many, many years since I have played Baldur's Gate. And I've actually never finished this game. I have played it a lot, though. I should have done this before we left, but... Better late than never. if there's any healing potions or anything like that anywhere i wonder we should check it out before we fine and dandy let's talk to bentley again here my inn is open to all who behave themselves Is there any... There's darts. Arrows here. We got five. Let's see how that works. And we have another journal update. Let's put this in her quiver here. Let's check out our journal. Let's take a look. Troubles in the region, rumors and happenings. Bentley, the owner of the Friendly Art Inn, told us that the iron trade has slowed greatly over the past few weeks. That's really cool. We're doing business and he is Tell giving me. us information, just talking. Yep. All right, I'm hoping that I can find maybe a place to buy some potions here and get healed up. Oh, great, it's gotcha. raining now. What's, what do we have here? Temple of Wisdom. Let's go in here. You are welcome here in Gal Glittergold's sight. We have Galena Mirshade here. For a bit of a respectful coin, we can cure what ails thee, if in need. What sort of cures do you have available? All right, so we have donations here. We have spells. Do they have healing potions? They do. 20 for 95. Let's buy one of these. Done. And let's check it out. We have one healing potion. I see. It's one for 95. That is pricey stuff. Holy smokes. We're going to buy one for now. And we're going to leave yep. it at that. 
We want to give it to... What's this? Potion of Invisibility. He's got two. One here. And drink a potion. Oh, did I drink it the wrong... Let's do that. I'm not sure how to how to do it. You've attacked. Let's pick her. There it is. It's a little clunky, but it works. And here. Hey. Gotcha. That is a pricey. Yep. Fix, isn't it? All right. We cannot really afford much, so we're going to have to be careful here to make sure we do not get that wounded. And I want to try to sleep out in the in the wilderness here as well. So let's go down over here. Let's uh, map out this this area. Let's take a look at the map that we have so far. Yeah, let's walk around here and get this all sorted out make sure we know what we're doing and we get all the stuff um, uh, revealed to us here it takes a little bit of time but I find that it's worth it if we just do it as we go so then nothing is surprising to us and we know where things are once the game starts really unfolding Hobgoblins right close to the close to the inn. That's disturbing as well. You would think that they would have a little bit more protection here. We have nothing there. Is there anything else of interest around here? We do have some more hobgoblins here. Let's get in position. Queer fellow. Let's do that. Huh? Let's attack here. C can I help attack you? Here. Attack here. Nature servant. And attack here. You spoke at me. This guy, we're gonna have to give him something else. Something troubling you. And this guy, we're gonna have to give him something else. We're gonna Hardly move him back. Time. This better go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Need me? Oh, you bet. Getting weaker. Time's running out on you. I need a healer as well. I can, but try. What's uh -oh. the story? We're we're in trouble here. For the fallen! Tell me. Okie doke. You don't stand a chance. Forward march. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey ya. Time's running out on you, pal. Ouch. Oh my goodness. We are getting rocked here. Let's take a look at our character sheets. To next level. Wow, we we have a lot to go for here. We're not doing very good at all. We're going to have to do better than this. Let's take a look at their equipment. Let's take all of this. What do we have here? A star to pose gem. Hopefully we can sell that. An isle gem. Leather armor. I <laughs> the sunlight. Yes. It's just too bright. Jorah's flame dance ring. Tell me. Right. I wonder, is there anybody that has a ring that we can give back to them, maybe? I'm almost thinking that we need to go back and have another snooze. 
And there is more. Let's leave. Oh, no. They're going to come after us here. Hopefully they don't. Yes, they are. Let's keep going here. Hopefully we can escape. want to fight anymore because yeah they are pretty strong these guys let's go get some sleep and see if we can't take these guys on again in the morning might be a good idea definitely stronger than they look all right we got most of this kind of stuff mapped out now that's good news. And it's miserable weather out there, so let's go see if we can sell some of this stuff. Take a look at it here. What is this? Isle is actually short for Iolite, although a common nickname is Violet Stone, even though its overall hue is usually blue. Isles are usually cut into faceted gems to best display the stone's color change and is viewed from different directions. Small cut isles can be clear, but larger specimens usually contain a silky inclusion of another substance such as hermitite crystals, which give it the same rich golden flash of color as in sunstones. Very cool description of these things. And what is this? The star diopside gem? Star Diopside is the most prized form of a hard, durable gemstone that is rarely found in attractive colors. It is usually too dark for beauty. However, mountain and stream bed pebble crystals of dark green hue make attractive stones such as Diopside. When a gem is found that is darker green, it is cut in such a fashion as to produce a four or six rayed star. Very cool. And we've got a bunch of stuff here to sell. Does anybody else have something here? We have a ring. Jaoa's Flame Dance ring. Now, we can go and sell this stuff, which I think is what we're going to do. Let's try to sell this stuff and get healed up here before we kind of move on. We are getting rocked at the moment. Commoner here, and we have a guard there. Perfect. Gather your party before venturing forth. Commoner, commoner. Okie doke. Let's go talk to uh, what Bentley My here again. To open the door, all who behave themselves. I need something to sell. We have leather armor. Wow, if you look at the price of these things compared to a price of a healing potion, wow we That is expensive stuff. Let's sell this. And Chill Touch will keep that. 263. Let's have it's another sleep here. Let's try a noble room this time. These rooms are of excellent quality and somewhat reasonable price and a definite luxury for those accustomed to sleeping under the open sky. None but the most pampered dandy would have complaints with these accommodations. Let's rent this and see how much it heals us. Well, it looks like it healed us fully here. Okay, great. Now that we know that the noble room is the way to go, it looks like. And we can get healed for cheap there. And we're starting to get a feel for the prices of these towns. Let's continue and just... Your party before venturing forth. And it's the middle of the night. I wonder if venturing outside at night would be a good idea. But we're going to do it anyways. We're going to finish exploring this map, I think. 
and then we'll see where it leads us after that. Now, let's try to walk this way. Let's see if we can find any more hobgoblins because I definitely want to level up and get a little bit more powerful because we are having a hard time. We are definitely having a hard time. And I like to know where, if I'm going to be sleeping in this area, I want to know what is around just in case there is some evil foes, which we already found, some hobgoblins right near the inn. And I wonder if we will find the person who's lost their ring as well. Here. We are almost done exploring this area, it looks like. We've been here already, and there is a hobgoblin around here someplace. We already know this. There he is. Let's see if we can get into position here. Let's turn on that. Yeah, he's got he's got his I don't like him doing anything here. He doesn't have anything really. Hey, uh, let's try this. We're gonna go in uh, there uh, with can these I three. Help you? Yes, or oh, omnipresent authority what figure. What is he dead? We're gonna buy what him. What you want? Taskmaster. We're gonna buy him a. Your voice is ambrosia. Let's see what does he have here? Forward march. Let's see how this works out. Much better. Uh -huh. And we've got a. Need me? Gotcha. Much better. We would plan it out a little bit. We end up getting a. You know, who would have thought planning out an attack would actually work better than just rushing in there? I want to see if I can remove as much as the fog of war as I can. That looks like all we can really do here. Let's go back into town here. And we'll see. Hmm? What's the store? Fine and dandy. We've got another place to look. There was another door down there. But I'm thinking that we're going to spend the night here again. see if we can get this one healed up all the way as well and I'd like to buy a bow for this person and some more arrows and stuff for these two start utilizing my party a little bit better than I have been doing back in the friendly arm in and we're going to call that an episode for today thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon